nearly 500 rushing and receiving yards last year. Super Bowl hero James White, three-year, $12 million deal, had three touchdowns, including the game winner in Super Bowl 51. They signed restricted uh, free agent Mike Gillisley from the Bills. He led the league in yards per rush. They can only hope he repeats the success of another bill they signed last offseason, Chris Hogan. And, of course, on Wednesday, uh, they slapped the unrestricted free agent tender on Garrett Blunt. The 30-year-old Blunt is still a free agent after he had a career year in several categories. Speaking of those categories, he set a franchise record and led the NFL with 18 rushing touchdowns ahead of guys like David Johnson, Zeke, and Shady McCoy. If he ends up changing teams, he would join Greg Bell as the only player besides Bell in NFL history to start the following season on a different team after leading the league in touchdown runs. Okay, Field, they put this uh, restricted free agent tender. Right. They we're calling it the May 9th tender this year because yep. that was the date it fell on. What exactly is this thing? This is another example of why the Patriots are one step ahead of everybody. So what this means is this, Trey, is that if LeGarrette Blunt is not signed by another team by July 22nd, he has two options. Play football for the Patriots or not play football at all in 2017. <laughs> now, if he is signed by a team before July 22nd, that would allow the Patriots to have a compensatory draft pick be in play, and it would negatively impact his new team's compensatory draft pick as well. The tender is worth 110% of his contract value last year. So the base salary of $1 million goes up to $1.1 million. You factor in incentives, you can get it up to $2.1 million. For those wondering, why doesn't everybody do this with all their free agents? The answer is this. Now, the Patriots have to count that tender towards their cap and that 110% raise, which this is a great value. Rarely do great values last this long in free agency. Well, that's the interesting thing here. I mean, look, this tender, by the way, the potential tender, will also steer some people away from signing him, right? Because it could be as high as, what, a third-round pick? Well, I just wanted to add, because I heard from a source that clubs that are interested in LeGarrette Blunt or that have expressed interest to him are actually trying to vet a deal structure that could circumvent this compensatory pick calculation. And if that happens, it would be the first time that that would get approved. So they're researching that with the management council right now. So it could be an opportunity for teams that have reported interest in LeGarrette Blunt that include the Lions, the Ravens, the Giants, or whoever else may step into that to possibly get around this and not impact themselves and not benefit also the Patriots with an additional pick. It is amazing. He had more touchdowns than anybody last year, and he may play for $1.1 million. They're just better Value. at this. They're just better at this than 